Are you a project manager losing hours every week wrestling with messy Google Sheets, just trying to figure out which tasks are due soon, or who's working on what? Do you feel like you spend more time updating spreadsheets than actually managing your projects? It's a common headache. You've got your main task list, maybe separate tabs for different projects or team members. When you need a quick report, like show me all the high priority tasks for the marketing project that are still in progress, you dive into a mess of filtering, copying, pasting, and hoping you don't miss anything or break a formula. Every update to the main list means manually repeating steps, and getting a simple, combined view across different parts of your data feels like a huge chore. It eats up your time, it's frustrating, and honestly, it's easy to make mistakes. There has to be a better way to get your spreadsheet data to just tell you what you need to know, automatically. Good news, there is. It's a hidden function in Google Sheets called Query. Think of it like being able to talk to your data, asking it questions, and getting back exactly the information you want without any manual sorting or filtering. The query function is basically a mini database tool built right into Sheets. You give it your data, and then you give it a simple command telling it what columns to show, which rows to include based on conditions, and how to sort the results. By the way, before we get started, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you did it already, make sure to click the bell icon so you never miss any updates. The basic setup looks like this, equals query. And in parenthesis, you will specify where your data is and what you want to see. Let's break down that what you want to see part, which is inside the quotation marks. This is where you write your command, and it uses a simple language. First, you tell it which columns you want. You use the command select. If your data is in columns A, B, C, D, etc., query sees these as column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, and so on. It's important to use the column number inside the quotes. So if your task list has task name in column A, or column 1, assignee in B, or column 2, status in C or column 3, and due date in D or column 4, and you just want to see the task name and assignee, you'd say, select column 1, column 2. You can list them in any order you like. If you want all columns, you just use a star. Select, star. Okay, so you can pick columns with select. But you don't want to see every task, right? You want to filter them. That's where the where command comes in. You add where after your select command, and then you give it a condition. Conditions usually check a column against a value using signs like equals, not equals, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. Using our example, task name column 1, assignee column 2, status column 3, due date column 4. If you only want tasks where the status column 3 is in progress, your command string would start. Select, column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, where column 3 equals in progress. Notice text like in progress needs single quotes around it. Numbers don't. Want to see tasks assigned to John? Add where column 2 equals John. You can combine filters using and and or. If you want tasks where the status is in progress and the assignee is John, you write select star where column 3 equals in progress and column 2 equals John. And means both things must be true. If you want tasks where the status is blocked or the status is needs review, you write select star where column 3 equals blocked or column 3 equals needs review. Or means at least one must be true. You can also filter dates. This is super useful for seeing what's due soon. If your due date is in column 4, you could filter for tasks due before a certain date like this. Select star where column 4 is less than date, and you put the date in single quotes. The four-digit year, two-digit month, two-digit day format is how you tell query you're giving it a date. You can even make the date dynamic, like showing tasks due in the next seven days, though the formula gets a tiny bit longer. Finally, you'll often want your results sorted. That's the order by command. You pick a column and say ASC for ascending, like earliest date first, or DESC for descending, like latest date first. To sort your filtered tasks by due date, column 4, with the soonest ones at the top, you'd write select star where column 3 equals in progress, order by column 4 ascending.
You put these pieces together inside the quotes, usually in this order. Select, then where, then order by. Here's where it gets powerful for you as a project manager. You can put this query formula on a separate tab. Maybe you have your giant master task list on one tab and on another tab called urgent items. You put a query formula that pulls only high priority tasks due in the next three days. Like this equals query master task list, a one to D 500, select call one, call two, call four, where call six equals high and call four is less than or equal to date, May 10th, 2025, order by call four ascending. This assumes priority is column six and the date filter is just an example. Now, whenever you update the master task list tab, change the status, update a due date, add a new task, your urgent items tab automatically updates because the query formula is constantly checking the source data. No more manually filtering and copying. You build the query once and you get a real-time dynamic report tailored exactly to what you need to see. This is how you cut down hours of administrative work and get back to actually leading your project. You can make tabs for tasks due this week, blocked items, tasks per assignee, whatever view helps you manage most effectively, all pulling live data from your master list. It changes you from someone reacting to data chaos to someone proactively using clean, organized information to make decisions. It's a total game changer for project managers using Google Sheets. Start simple, try just selecting columns, then add a basic filter. Once you see that data snap into place automatically, you'll never go back to manual updates. And that's it. Before you leave, check out our school community for free assets and subscribe to the channel for more PM insights. Thanks for watching. See you next time.